IPB compression versus all eye compression, it's been a popular debate for a while now, especially with the recent release of the Canon R5 and R6. Today I will be explaining the differences between these two compression types. Let's get into it. To start out, let's take a look at the more common compression type, IPB. IPB is a very flexible compression type, having one frame at full quality with a ton of data, and the rest of the frames at full quality, obviously, is the same resolution, but the data for those frames is derived from the first frame, therefore having a smaller file size. So, for about every 15 frames or so, there's one frame that holds all the data for those frames. This leads to a smaller file size and is more convenient for the average filmmaker and is what most people use and what most cameras have, including this one. The only downside to shooting IPB would be the potential loss of quality depending on how heavy the compression is. If you're using a more professional camera such as this Canon R6, you don't really notice it as much, it really just depends on the camera you're using. My old camera, a Canon T6i, really suffered when using IPB compression, and that was the only thing it could shoot So at. to summarize, instead of having individual data for each frame, IPB simply uses data from one frame for several frames. And next up we have all eye compression. Each and every frame has its own data, it's considered uncompressed, and the only downside to that is the larger file size. So, those are the differences between the two things, and Honestly, there's not too much of a deal breaker with shooting IPB, especially since that's the only thing I've ever shot on. However, depending on your workflow, you may want to use all I. If you're doing heavy grading, heavy visual effects, you might want to go with all I, but it is also good to remember that the compression type is not what determines the final quality of a file. This camera shoots IPB at up to 10-bit color depth. Other cameras such as the Canon EOS R shoot all I at 8-bit. 8-bit is 16 million colors, whereas 10-bit is over a billion colors. Which one would you choose? I would choose the IPB one, which is what I have. And ultimately, I will keep saying this, it's not about the camera or the specs, it's about who is behind the camera. So keep that in mind when shooting these different compression ratios. And now for a quick shout out to our sponsor for today, Pepito's Music. If you are interested in having high quality music for your videos, such as the one I've been using in my videos recently, check the link in the description. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did find it informative or enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. It's free. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.